All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Okay, so this will probably be a slightly shorter video than usual because this is kind of what I'm calling a re-review or a re-overview or whatever. But this is the Benchmade Mini Claymore uh, from Benchmade through the Apex Pass Around Group. Uh, you can see there the details on this one. Uh, very, very cool. It is uh, the black class, of course and uh, CPMD2, and black class, meaning a tactical uh, f knife of sorts. Um, so I have reviewed the full-size Claymore. So again, we're not gonna do a full review here. We're kinda gonna do an out of focus because my light is off, there we go. Um, uh, we're kinda gonna do just an overview. Now, you know these are grivery scales. Uh, you do have a lock here, you do have a textured, uh, kind of jimped button, if you will. You have uh, Morse code for FTE, face toward enemy or front toward enemy. I, I've heard both. Um, you do have the typical short uh, bench made loop over clip. Uh, this black on black makes it hard to see, but uh, you got a little bit sticking out of your pocket and it is reversible with three screws. Uh, it does uh, have round screws, but I didn't find that to be a problem. Retention is good, good in and out of the pocket. Nice slim design over here, so hanging in the pocket. Uh, real light, no problems there. Um, and, you know, you do have this kind of really crazy checkering or texturing, and you do have chamfering around the edges, black hardware, lots of hardware, as you can see. Um, but again, this is meant to be a tactical knife. So, uh, whoops, unlock it first. Um, it will not open uh, while it's locked. Um, when it's red, that means it's unlocked, just like anything else, so will not unlock. Uh, but there you go. Nice snap to this one. The spring is is pretty good. Uh, can I, I've been asked if I can close it one-handed. Yes, I can. I don't do that a lot because I feel like I'm going to just come down on myself. Um, on a out the side audio, I usually end up doing it two-handed just to be safe. Um, but that's just me. You, your results may vary. Uh, again, um, so this lock... Uh, locks it both ways. So if you lock it while it's closed, it's not going to close. I mean, while it's open, it's not going to close. If you unlock it, now all you have to do is push the button and push in. Now there is spring tension there, as you can see. Uh, so, yep. Uh, you, this checkering on the button, I could take it or leave it. I know it's a tactical knife and you're going to have gloves on or whatever, or whatever, whatever. Uh, it's a little much for me. Uh, you know, just give me a smooth button. I don't know. Uh, I know I'm being picky. Uh, but for $208, I can be a little bit picky. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Now, it is contoured, so it fits in your hand really nicely. Now, for me, if I were to get one of these, I'd get the Claymore and not the Mini. Uh, you can see I am uh, really at the limits of the area they've allotted for a proper grip here. Uh, and you absolutely feel that clip uh, right there. It is digging uh, right there, as you can see, um, because it's shorter. If, if the I don't remember it being that bad on the original Claymore uh, for me, but whoa, sorry about that. Uh, but in this case, uh, I definitely feel that clip. Now, uh, this guy is a thinner knife, uh, and it definitely uh, cuts and slices and uh, pierces, as you can see. Nice. Uh, in that regard, especially as a tactical knife, you do have your butterfly. Now, this coating is interesting. This is uh, reminds me of the coating on my SE3 uh, fixed blade. It's um, it's got a texture to it. It's it's definitely it goes through material as you just saw fine. So it's it's not a problem, but it's not like a smooth coating. It's got a little bit of something something going on there. You do have Benchmade there, CPMD2, and then their website, which is always interesting uh, to have your website because I, I can't. I mean, I can't click on it and it goes somewhere. Uh, I know that's so in an attempt to try to prevent counterfeits. Um, that's what I've heard, but, uh, don't, don't just, don't give me a website on your, on your blade, would you please? Uh, a little 
Got a nice uh, swedge here. I know I'm being picky, guys. This is terrible. I'm a horrible person. Uh, there is no, surprisingly, uh, in a tactical knife, there's no jimping on the blade. But for me, uh, if I come back against that guard, um, I'm not going anywhere. You know, it, it's definitely not going anywhere. It feels fine. I actually don't mind it not having jimping, but just thought I'd point it out for you. Jimping police out there. Uh, there's lots of you in my chat. Uh, hello, uh, hi, Matisfaction. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Uh, that is the Benjamin Cl Mini Claymore. Now, um, there is not on this one side to side blade play. There's a little bit of up and down, but it is fractional. I would say it is locked up like very well, uh, very nicely done. Uh, this one is, I'm gonna look off camera. It's slightly off to the clip side, but not enough to like have a fit over. It's it's pretty good. Um, the action is is really strong. Again, not so that I I can't close it one handed. Uh, it is manageable, if you will, but it definitely pops out really really well. I'm impressed uh, with that. Very very much so. Um, all right, let's talk through the specs and then we'll do our comparisons. Again, these are $207. I'm looking at Blade HQ. You can use my link down below. It helps the channel. Um, and it is 7.18 inches overall, 3 inches on the blade length, 2.8 cutting edge. The blade thickness is just 0 0.09, guys. So fantastic on that. Um, flat grind, black blade, um, black handle, and they do have also a... Um, uh, a green one is it wait I'll go look at this second give me a second 2.56 ounces right hand left hand uh, so it is ambi um, and yeah made in, made in the USA of course now these are two hundred seven dollars um, I've had a lot of people really getting hung up on that um, I think it's really well made I think it's made in the USA uh, I think a lot of people are seeing D2 and they're thinking D2, but this is CPM D2, which is a little bit better. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's a little high, uh, but again, it's always hard for me uh, to judge pricing because I don't know what people have into it, but it is it is a, it's high. Um, you know, it's, it's not staggeringly high to me like some people have said, uh, but it's definitely high for uh, for what you're getting. Uh, but that's, you know, that's that's Benchmade, in my opinion. That's just where we are with Benchmade in this point in time. So let me go back here. There's also, okay, so the other one is a OD Green uh, with a black blade. So that's the two options. And both of those are that same $207. So let's do our comparisons and wrap this one up. Uh, I, by the way, I just want to make it clear, I prefer the larger size Claymore. Uh, you know, for me, again, I'm not a huge fan of out the side autos. Um, just, just me because of the spring. It's the same thing to me as an assisted knife. You're fighting against the spring to close it. I just happen to prefer a manual knife. But for those of you that like it, it's very snappy. If you like small knives, you're going to love this one. Uh, but again, for me, if you're getting one, get the full size Claymore, but that's just me. You can see the Rat 1 is larger. The Rat 2 is about the same size. So there you go. Very, very cool. So the thank you uh, to the to Zach, Zach Stuff, who sent this through Benchmade to the Apex Group. Uh, and thank you guys uh, for, um, you know, for sending this along. So uh, guys, do all the things. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And I'm appreciative of each and every one of you for watching the Knives Fast channel.